It's day 14 of the hostage situation. I'm beginning to worry because I've actually grown quite fond of my captors. Send help. Everybody. Welcome back to another um, episode of Desperately Seeking Sandwiches. Keeping consistent. Last week, let you guys know that I am doing a 21-day challenge. No bread, no meat, no sugar. Things are going pretty well so far. Um, haven't cheated yet. Don't intend on it. Got another week to go. Um, and definitely have found some overall changes in my eating habits that I will pretty easily be able to stick to. So kind of excited about that. But yet again, that brings us to Sunday. Sunday meat, Sunday sandwiches. How do we make it work with no bread and no meat? The sugar is a little bit easier until you get into some of the sauces, which we'll check in on next week. I have an idea. Um, but I had a great idea come to me from my lovely wife. Um, she had kind of mentioned a caprese salad, and I thought to myself, well, how can I turn that into a sandwich? I thought maybe I'll make my own mozzarella cheese. It's actually not that difficult to do, or at least it doesn't look that difficult to do. Um, but couldn't get all the supplies together in time, and as I was going through the grocery store, I found these um, awesome little cheese wraps. Um, so that's going to form the the platform for our sandwich today. Um, so what we've got is some mozzarella. Um, normally on a caprese you would use fresh basil, um, but I thought let's amp the flavors up a little bit, so I went with a basil pesto. Um, you can certainly make it yourself, but there's some really great uh, options that you can just get on the shelf of your local grocery store. Um, so I'd probably recommend doing that because it's actually really quite expensive to make on your own. Um, and then of course some fresh thinly sliced tomatoes and then I threw on a drizzle of balsamic vinegar, some reduced balsamic vinegar, and was able to pull it off. Now be careful if you are trying to eliminate sugar altogether. There are, are some natural sugars uh, involved here, um, but that's not what my goal has been. I have been looking to eliminate all added sugar. So, you know, tomatoes, yeah, they have a little bit of sugar in them. That occurs naturally. Um, balsamic vinegar is made from grapes. So, again, there's going to be a little bit of naturally occurring sugar, but look for stuff that has no additional sugar. Um, read the labels. You'll learn a lot. You'll kind of get a little worried about what's in our food supply, but hey, them's the breaks, right? So, pretty simple. You lay it all out. I put down a uh, foundational base of pesto, layered the tomatoes on top of that, then hit it with the balsamic. Came out real nice. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it if you if you like those flavors. Um, you know, this is a home run. It actually makes for a really nice looking um, like appetizer platter if you want to serve it at your next party. Before we get in to that sexy sandwich footage, if you like what you see, hit like. Really, really appreciate it. Helps the channel grow. Um, if you're watching this on Facebook, do me a favor. Go down into the comments of the video, find my YouTube channel, and subscribe. Turn on the notifications. I come with new sandwiches every week and will be adding some non-sandwich related content. There's a little bit on there. I did a music video here with a local band during quarantine. That was a whole lot of fun um, and some other things. So um, yeah, head over to the YouTube channel subscribe, ring that little bell for notifications. That's it. Appreciate it. Let's go to the sandwich footage, because that's what you're here for.
there we have it. Um, nice and light, which on a Arizona summer's day is actually pretty welcome. Um, I think when I looked at my weather station outside, um, it's right around 100 degrees today. A little bit humid because we've got some rain hopefully rolling in. Um, so a nice alternative to a heavy sandwich on a summer's day. Um, again, and if, even if you wanted to serve it up as like an appetizer, um, you can make it look really pretty on the plate. That's going to do it for me this week. Guys, if you want one of these guys, hit up my friends at Chic Zinnia Designs. They can make you one of these or, you know, shoot them a design of your very own and they can take care of that for you as well. And if you want one of these, there's a link in the description in the comments for that as well. You can actually order this cutting board directly, full disclosure, and get a little piece of the action on that. Um, or again, Mika is super, super creative and he can help you uh, bring your idea. Anything having to do with wood, he can help you um, make something really, really awesome. So that's gonna do it for me. Hope you guys are having an awesome week. Look forward to seeing you back next week. And until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. I'll see you in the next one.